narcissistic zombie apocalypse. We are now seeing an event involving destruction or damage on a catastrophic scale. It is a tragic event of extreme misfortune. It is an unveiling of things that were not previously known. This event is causing such great and irreparable damage that the world may never be the same. This is the narcissistic zombie apocalypse. Narcissists are everywhere, in all places or directions. They are common and widely distributed. They could be likened to zombies. They are dead inside, completely lifeless. They are lacking strength, energy and enthusiasm. They have no life within them. They have no vitality, vigor or energy. They are undead, though technically dead, as they are lacking emotion, sympathy and sensitivity. They are lacking activity and excitement. They are unemotional, uneventful, uninteresting, unexciting, uninspiring. They are constantly in survival mode. They are in a state of continuing to live or exist in spite of their difficult circumstances. To survive, they need life. They need power to give them continuance of life. To, con to continue their state of remaining in existence or operation. They need energy. They need the strength and vitality required for sustained physical or mental activity. We can call it life or power, but it is all energy. Everything is made up of energy. Energy is the property of matter and radiation, which manifests as a capacity to perform work. Activity involving mental or physical effort done in order to achieve a purpose or result. They cannot produce this energy on their own. They need to obtain it from an external source. They need to obtain it from a person who is rich in energy. A person who is abundant in energy. A person who has large quantities of it. The narcissistic zombie is constantly absorbing energy from people. They are constantly taking it in, soaking it up to increase their capacity to perform work, to make them feel powerful, to make them feel more alive. As they are constantly using it up and are unable to produce it on their own, they need to always be in proximity of a person who is rich in energy. A person who possesses an abundance, large quantities of it. This is the only way that the narcissistic zombie will be able to sustain themselves. Without an abundance of energy to keep them going, they would soon die out. So they need to keep a person who is abundant in energy around them at all times. This is why they can never be alone. This is why they always have to be around people. Because they cannot produce this energy on their own. And without it, they wouldn't be able to survive. Every second that goes by, they are using up this energy. So their entire life just becomes an endless chase, where they are always looking for their next meal. They are always looking for the next person 
to consume this energy from. They are never at rest. They are never at peace. They are always searching for their next victim. They can never be satisfied because they have this huge void within them. They have a void of energy which they are constantly trying to fill to sustain themselves. No normal, healthy person wants to be with a narcissistic zombie. You don't want to be around someone who is constantly draining you of your energy. You don't want to be around someone who is incapable of reciprocating anything back to you. You want to be around a person who has strength, energy and enthusiasm. A person who is full of activity and excitement. A person who is emotional, eventful, interesting, exciting, inspiring. The narcissistic zombie is aware of this and that is why they will play the part of this type of person that you are looking for. They will mirror you and use your energy to reflect back what you're about. They will appeal to your own ideals. They will be whatever they think you want to see, whatever they think you're about. But they're not about any of that. That's not really them. That's what you see on the surface. That's what they show you. But underneath that is the narcissistic zombie. Underneath that is something dead and lifeless. And you may not see it in the beginning, but soon enough, cracks will begin to show. Because while your energy may have had a certain level of potency in the beginning, it may have had the power to influence or make an impression on them. Soon enough, it begins to lose the influence or impression that it once had. Like a drug, it no longer has the same effect. Feeding from you is no longer giving the narcissistic zombie the energy that it needs. It is no longer sustaining them. And that is when you begin to see beneath the mask. That is when you begin to see who they are and what they're really about. This person who was once full of strength, energy and enthusiasm is nowhere to be found. The activity and excitement is gone. They become unemotional, uneventful, uninteresting, unexciting, uninspiring, because none of it was ever real. You are dealing with a fake, a fraud, a phony, someone who is deficient in something, most often it's energy, and they saw and realized that you had an abundance of energy. So they plotted and strategized how they were going to take that from you by displaying a false character, showing you what you wanted to see, telling you what you wanted to hear, knowing all along that it was never what they were really about. You were tricked, lied to, deceived, and if you were with them long enough, they most likely left you with nothing. They drained you of your energy and left you with nothing to sustain yourself. When that energy was meant for you, it was meant to keep you going. And that's why we often find ourselves at a low point where we might feel depressed. Because someone just came along and took the energy that was meant to keep you alive. That was meant to keep you going. That was meant to give you the strength and enthusiasm that you needed. They tricked you into giving it to them. And that's why you feel down. That's why you feel depressed. And it's ruining people's lives. These narcissistic zombies are everywhere. Robbing people of their life, energy and power. It's an epidemic. 
It's a widespread occurrence of an infectious disease and it is a very serious event resulting in great destruction and change. But now, with all of this new information coming out about these narcissists, with all of this exposure of their plots and schemes, their tactics, we are now becoming more armed, more equipped with the tools that we need to protect ourselves. We are now more able to keep ourselves safe from harm or injury. We now have our own safe house. A secret place where we can remain safe or sheltered from pursuit, danger or difficulty. And that is our community, our channel. Together we can protect each other by spreading this information. Making people more aware of the tricks that these narcissistic zombies are using. Together we can learn more about how to defend ourselves. How to protect ourselves from harm or danger. And that is why I make these videos. That is why I do what I do. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at narcsforevercoaching at gmail.com. Check out the Demersion Dice in the Narx Forever store where you can purchase your own Narx Forever t-shirt, tank top or mug. The link is in the video description. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.